மெட்ரிக் 6212 contact 9344567484 for online admission log on to www.kurunjischoolnkl.in hi my dear students today we are going to enter into 11th syllabus it is very happy and auspicious day that you are all uh, entered into 11th standard and today we are going to see unit 1 that is prose the portrait of a lady it is very beautiful uh, story uh, narrated by kushwan singh and it is very emotionally bond story between the grand mother and grandson it is very emotionally attached to everybody's life because we all have relations especially grandmother and grandfather here kushwan singh concentrates on the relationship between grandmother and grandson let us see how the story is narrated to us before going to the story let us uh, know the short biography of kushwan singh kushwan singh was born in 1915 he is an indian novelist and lawyer he studied at the st stephen's college delhi and king's college london he joined the indian foreign service in 1947 as a writer he is best known for his keen secularism and sarcasm and love for poetry so here secularism means religious belief so in his stories and writings the religious belief will be there and what do you mean by sarcasm sarcasm means irony okay and love for poetry so these are the topics and uh, a theme will be there in his writings he served as the editor of several literary and news magazines as well as two newspapers kushwan singh was awarded with padma bhushan in 1974 Padma Vibhushan by the government of India and the Sahitya Academy for, for fellowship by Sahitya Academy of India The Mark of Vishnu A History of Six The Train to Pakistan Success Mantra We Indians and Death at My Doorstep are some of his brilliant works Finally after writing all these these beautiful works he passed away from us in 2014 okay from this short biography you might come to know that his stories are, are always on religious belief and sarcasm what in the sarcasm irony okay and let us uh, enter into the story now that is the portrait of a lady okay here is a story that brings out the bond between the author and his loving grandmother so already in the introduction i told you the story is about grandmother and his grandson okay and here what happens in the story a grandmother and grandson are living in one house and their parents are in city okay now grandmother is taking care of the grandson okay when he was child and he was grown up after some years he was forced to go to city that is with his parents okay grandmother also goes there but here what happens the relationship between grandmother and grandson becomes so worse because when they were in the village they had a good life they were living so happily 
and uh, the relationship between the grandmother and the grandson was not just a relationship it was friendship he said so kushwan singh says that the relationship is like a friends okay so what happens the particular friendship was broken when they moved to city okay that's what here he is going to tell us how the relationship in the beginning and in the village how the relationship in the village and how the relationship in the city when they move to the city okay that's the two different cases we are going to see here okay let us begin the story so i have written the story in hints form because we have a, the story goes for almost four pages okay so i have written only the key points what are the words are related to the story so that i can explain to you in detail manner so i don't want to miss any details of this story because it is very beautiful story very emotionally attached to each and everybody's life because we indian are which very much attached to this emotions okay so let us begin the story now before going to this you you must know who are the characters okay now there is a grandmother and a grandson okay and the parents of grandson okay these are the uh, important characters in this story okay now let us begin the story my grandmother like everybody's grandmother now you see when he starts begins my grandmother which means the author himself says my grandmother so the narrator as well as speaker of this story is kushwan singh so whose grandmother which means kushwan singh's grandmother so kushwan singh's grandmother like everybody's grandmother how is everybody's grandmother because grandmother it is it is known that they are old an old women okay so like everybody's grandmother is old in the same way the grandmother of kushwan singh is also old so how is her face her face is wrinkled for 20 years he says wrinkled what in the wrinkled when we become old on our face and body there are the lines will be there on our face isn't it you can see so that is called wrinkled so how many years he has seen for 20 years he is seen which means almost when he was born and when he saw his grandmother the that time itself she was old that's why he says it for 20 years he says i known her i known her for 20 years and when i known her from the time till now she was old only he says and what about the people what the people say about her people say she was once young and pretty when you enquire about my grandmother to the people around her they say that she was once very young and very pretty pretty means outer appearance are so beautiful she says so the people say that she was very young and pretty and had a husband okay okay as everybody every grandmother as a grandfather here he just mentions had a gra- husband okay she so she had a husband hard to believe what is hard to believe my grandfather's portrait hung above the mantel piece so now here what is hard to believe here because to this old woman there is a husband it is hard to believe he says okay in funny way he says it is a very uh, very hard to believe that my grandfather had a husband okay because she looks old she just says in a funny way so next he says my grandfather's portrait what in my portrait portrait means picture the picture was hung above the mantel what do you mean by this mantel mantel means the self projecting from the wall above the fireplace in western countries also we have in um, in india also we have this in some of the houses in the in the between the hall there will be a, a place for the fire okay during the winter season they put for woods and they make it uh, uh, to 
to have fire in between the hall okay so they they are built with the bricks okay there will be a hole in the center and they will put all the woods in center and they will fire it and they will have a warm situation in the house during winter okay so that is called a mantle so above this mantle there was his grandfather's portrait hung there okay so that is a drawing room that's why i told you know hall yeah, we say hall okay in drawing room means the place where the place they sit and relax that is called drawing room so in the drawing room there was a mantle and the mantle above the mantle there was a grandfather's portrait was there now how does the grandfather look is grandfather look he wore big turban what is a turban in north indians all they wear turbans okay they were towel okay with the towel they will make a, a round on the head okay so it becomes so bigger so in north indian you can see this uh, turbans so loose fitting clothes what is this loose fitting clothes mostly if you see north indians they wear very loose fitting clothes okay so here is grandfather wore a big turban and very loose fitting clothes and what about his beard he is long white beard covered his justices okay so what about his grandfather's beard the beard was so white why it looks white because he is old isn't it so the beard was so long and it covered it just okay so now what happens here is a description about how his grandmother and grandfather look so uh, the grandmother looks very old her face are wrinkled for how many years he says for 20 years for why he does he say for 20 years because when he was born okay he saw her grandmother old and when he is grown up and now he is for 20 years now also she he looks her grandmother still she looked old that's why he says for 20 years okay so wrinkle wrinkle means already i told you that when we become old all our bodies there will be lines around our face and body that's why called wrinkle so she so how what about the people those who are around her they say that she is very young and pretty okay when she was very young and very pretty and had a husband he says that's why here only he makes fun of her grandmother his grandmother that this old woman had a husband that is very hard to believe she says so next to what he says he says about his grandfather and there is a portrait hung above the mantle so i told you what is a mantle a mantle is a, a place in center of the drawing room what is a drawing room drawing room means that in the in that is a place for resting and having a conversation okay we say hall okay so in the hall in the center place there will be a mantel which built with the bricks and in between the bricks there will be space in the in between the space they will put the wood and they will make it fire okay in order to have a warm situation in the drawing room they have this mantel so now where is the grandmother's portrait hung above the mantel okay now how does the grand grandfather look okay so his grandfather looks uh, he wore grandfather wore a big turban okay i told you it, it is made up of a towel and the loose fitting clothes okay it was not tight it was very loose clothes and what about his beard his beard was so long and white beard covered okay is a white beard covered is just whose just grandfather's just now let us see so next he looked a hundred years old who looked grandfather looked whose grandfather kushman singh's grandfather looked as if on the portrait okay he is not alive okay his grandfather already died only his portrait was there okay so his look was hundred years old when you look on the portrait on the picture and when you see his grandfather not look person would have a wife or children it is a funny way he says that he, this fellow this 100 years fellow looks he does not have a wife and children why he says because that is the next line is explained he looked as if could only have lots of children she often told that is lots of children means what grandchildren he says 
you understand okay so why he says i have no wife or children because the newly married man will have wife and children so when he gets older okay so he will have a lot of children the children refers to here grandchildren okay so this old fellow looks as if he is he has a lot of children she often told who now she refers to whom she refers to grandmother now we have seen how grandfather looks grandfather is not alive so he died so when you look at his picture he, he his look is like a 100 years old man this 100 year old man may not have a wife or children then what he will have he will have only lots and lots of children that is grandchildren next his grand grandmother used to tell her tell kushwan singh the games she used to play as a child okay she used to tell all the stories to the kushwan singh and what are the games she played all the games whatever she played in her childhood she would narrate like a story to kushwan singh that is her grandchildren that absurd and undignified what do you mean by absurd absurd means illogical what is illogical some stories will not have a logic okay they will not have a connectivity between the first scene and the next scene so that's what he says absurd what is absurd here the games whichever she played she narrated to his grandson those stories are absurd he says that is illogical they don't have a logic and what do you mean by dignified dignified means it is not respectful it is not a, a story to believe okay so whatever the games she played she narrated in a story form and those are illogical and undignified now we treat like a fables of the prophets now she narrated the stories but we the people the children we the grandchildren those who hear this story we decide that it is a fables of a prophets who are the prophets a person one who foretells what happen what is going to happen in the future is called a prophets so what whatever the story she has narrated it looks like a fables of the prophets which which means the things which are going to happen in the future is narrated now she says okay now kushwan singh say uh, describes how her grandfather looks like okay so already we know that how he looks like he is very 100 years old man he wore a big turban is a long uh, white beard covered his chest now how does his grandmother look let us see she short and fat okay she is very short and fat and slightly bent due to her old age she uh, bent towards the floor uh, towards the earth because she is old so now she is short and fat and slightly bent how does her face look her face look criss cross of wrinkles what do you mean by this criss cross criss cross means mark with the crossed lines so when we become old if you have seen your grandmother or grandfather or any old man they will have a lines over their faces you might have seen so how do we find is a old man by, by seeing this cross criss cross so criss cross of wrinkles means a mark with something crossed lines the lines which crosses her face is called criss cross okay so how does her grandmother look she is very short and fat and slightly bent okay due to her old age and how does her face look it looks like a criss cross what do you mean by criss cross criss cross means a running line many lines on the faces so where where does it run it runs everywhere okay so everywhere means what on our face on our uh, legs on our hands on everywhere this cr criss cross lines uh, of wrinkles runs and makes her that she is old and that shows her old and the kushwan singh says and emphasize that so terribly old she is not just old she is so terribly old 
because grown older she is very old he says so where where does she say stayed the same age for 20 years again in the beginning we saw that for 20 years he was looking his grandmother only old because when he was born her grandmother was already old that's why he says now my age is 20 years still my grandmother is old that's why he says grown older and stayed the same age for 20 years he says she never pretty when she was young she looked very pretty okay that was we saw in the beginning the people say that in her young age she was pretty but now how does she look how does she look she looks like she does not look pretty but beautiful what is the difference between this beautiful and pretty pretty is a outer appearance okay what is beauty the entire personality okay now there is a different he says she she look she does not look pretty now she looked pretty when she was in engage okay but now she is only beautiful he says in the engage she looked very pretty but now she does not look pretty but only beautiful so you must know the difference between beautiful and pretty so pretty is the only outer appearance okay so beautiful is inner and as well as the whole personality so that's why he says the kushan kushan singh says my grandmother now does not look pretty but looks so beautiful she hobbled what do you mean by hobbled hobbled means walk unsteadily okay what is this hobble so since she was very old okay she was walking unsteadily okay she was uh, uh, does not have uh, that much strength to walk straight she already bend okay so that's why he says hobbled hobbled means walk unsteadily where she where does she walk in the house in spotless white what do you mean by this spotless white the spotless white refer, refers to her dress so a spotless white means her dress was in white in color there were no spot there were no any color on the white dress that's why he says spotless white okay now that is the dress now what about her uh, hand with one hand resting on her waist balance her stoop already we saw what in the stoop stoop means bend forward okay due to her old age she bend forward and what about uh, she the the cushion singh wants to say what her two hands were doing so one hand were resting on her waist waist means on the hip balancing what her stoop balancing or bending towards the forward that was she was balancing with one hand keeping her, her one hand on the waist or hip what about the other hand other hand telling the beads of her rosary so one hand was balancing her hip or waist other hand was telling the beads of rosary what do you mean by rosary so it is a beads okay in christianity we have a 10 10 beads almost there will be 50 50 plus 5 55 beads will be there in one rosary okay and uh, our lips constantly what do you mean by constantly constantly mean continuously uh, inaudible prayer so what happened one hand was resting on our waist and other hand was uh, just moving the beads and our lips were inaudible prayer which is not audible which cannot be heard outside so she was praying and by moving this rosary the beads of the rosary with one hand and one hand was balancing the stoop she like the winter landscape in the mountains so there is a comparison kushwan sings gives the comparison she looks like a winter landscape what do you mean by winter during the winter we have white snow spread on the landscape landscape means land uh, a plain land is called landscape where it is in the mountains she say he says so now what about her, her look is explained here she wore white dress okay which is spotless so now he gives some comparison that uh, she looks like a winter landscape in the mountain so in the mountain the landscape plain landscape when it is covered with the white snow the same scene is 
compared to the his grandmother her dress looks like that an expanse of pure white serenity what do you mean by expanse expanse means spread white spread what is here white spread of pure white serenity serenity means calm breathing peace and contentment what do you mean by contentment contentment means satisfaction okay so when you look at look at this grandmother she looked very pure and when you talk to her when you have a relationship with her that is very that has very serenity and when you speak to her you will have a peace and satisfaction he says so now what we have seen we have seen who is his grandmother and what about his grandfather what about his grandfather his grandfather died already so how do we know his appearance there was a portrait portrait means picture was hung above the mantel piece already i told you what is mantel piece so his grandfather looks like 100 years old and he, he, he does not look like a as wife or children only as lots of children lots of children refers to grandchildren next this grandmother always narrates the stories to his grandchildren okay what are the stories she narrates the narrate she narrates the games that she used to play in her childhood but that the, those stories are absurd absurd means what illogical that does not have logic or undignified so what about these children they take it as these these stories are like fables of prophets who are the prophets prophets are the person one who foretells the future so all her fables all her short stories or like a prophet saying what is going to happen in the future and next is she next question saying explains her look how how is her look she is very short and fat slightly bent okay how does her face look her face look like a criss cross of wrinkles what do you mean criss cross marks with the many lines when we become old we will have a many lines on our face hands legs everywhere so that's why he says emphasize old so terribly old he says okay for how many years for 20 years i have been looking at her still she is old only when i was born she was old when i was growing up and now 20 years old still she is old and very terribly old he says already i told you the difference between pretty and beautiful pretty is what outer appearance and beautiful is a whole personality the inner and the outer personality is a beautiful so when she was young she was pretty but now she is old and she is a, she is very terribly old that's why he says she does not look pretty only beautiful she hobbled hobbled means she was uh, walking unsteadily with which dress spotless white there was no mark on the dress the dress was white in color so what about two hands what are the two hands were doing one hand was resting on her waist waist means what hip so one hand was on her hip balancing her stoop stoop means what bending forward since she was old her hip bent towards towards the earth okay so one hand was balancing her hip or waist and other hand was telling the beads of the rosary what do you mean by rosary rosary in christianity uh, they have this rosary for praying okay already i told you there will be above 55 beads okay so she was praying she was praying within herself that's why is a inaudible prayer inaudible means which is not heard which cannot be heard the sound is very silent her lips only moving fast constantly means continuously moving her lips and she what she was uh, what she was telling she was telling prayer which is not audible to others and there is a comparison between the winter landscape and her dress okay since she wore white dress that looks like a snow the winter during winter season what happens the landscape in the mountains in the in the mountains landscape means land so in the mountains the in the plain land the snows are covered and that looks so white that's that the that particular comparison is brought to grandmother's dress when you look at her she looks like a winter landscape in the mountain and when you look at uh, grandmother 
in the particular dress or when you speak to her there is an expanse of pure expanse means what wide spread pure white serenity serenity means calm when you look at her when you speak to my grandmother you will have a serenity and breathing peace and contentment so you will have a peace when you speak to my grandmother and when you speak, behave with my grandmother have relationship with my grandmother you will have peace and contentment contentment means satisfaction so these are the descriptions are given about our grandmother our grandfather and about the whole family is given so now the only the story begin with the introduction okay the appearance of grandmother and grandfather now we are moving we are going to move with the next uh, we are going to move with the next scene it will be a relationship between grandmother and grandson